Hey yo, what is up Champions fam, it's Zeke 410, back with a brand new WWE Champions video, and we are here today to discuss the brand new week long event that has already begun, and that is none other than the return of NWO. Now this week long event is basically a rerun and follow up event that has tides to a previous MLC, which we all had an opportunity to participate in, and that was none other than NWO meets WrestleMania, where we actually got four brand new champions within that MLC. Normally, when it comes to WWE champions, every single month we get three brand new champions, a free-to-play champion, a vault or prize wall champion, and a banner champion. But for NWO meets WrestleMania, they decide to go all out. We got a free to play champion in Attitude Era, Striker 6, a very top tier champion, free to play, who has been available ever since his release. So make sure that you have him locked down and ready to go for this week long event. Following that, we also got a prize wall and vault champion in Attitude Era, Striker Scott Hall, Outsider. And for a banner champion, we got Attitude Era striker Kevin Nash, Big Kev. So we had six and the Outsiders making their proper debut. But on top of that, the cherry on top of the whipped cream on this one. For that MLC, not only did we get a free-to-play champion, a prize wall vault champion, and a banner champion, but we also got a secret champion who was only available at the end of the MLC through the NWO bags that you were able to acquire and if you got enough you were not only able to access his gear but you were able to access the man and unlock the man the myth the legend himself Randy Savage Attitude Era Trickster NWO the Universal Gem Trainer now that MLC was by far one of the greatest MLCs to come through in a long time but now these guys are back again the boys are back in all black for one week only and this time around they're all getting LT tours plus their bandanas to acquire there is a blitz that you can run we were all given 100 blitz tickets and the ticket cost for this NWO blitz is nothing more than one ticket so 100 free runs before you even decide to pump in any disposable income for those blitz runs but on top of that we got a faction contest that is allowing us to get shards for hall nash and macho man now granted macho man's gear is not available this time around but hey to have the universal gem trainer on your roster is a good look regardless and to have a one turn farming team such as hall and nash and a feud machine in six this is a week-long event that, yes, the milestones are far and in between, but the effort is worth being put forth so that you and your faction mates can walk away with at least a few more shards of some top-tier champions. And if you were lucky enough to get enough shards in the previous MLC, maybe, just maybe, you do unlock these champions. Now, this time around, we are going to have an opportunity to get shards for Hall, Nash, and Macho Man, as I mentioned, and we are going to get a chance to even unlock Nash at least at three-star gold. So why not go ahead and invest and do what you can? For these LT tours, we are going to have five of them, five of those babies, and that means there's going to be a double up on one champion, and that champion is none other than the free-to-play champion, Six. That is right. Six is going to be getting it in major because today is the 7th of July. It is Sunday, and it is after 3 p.m., meaning 3 p.m. Eastern time, that is. That means that Six's first LT Tour is officially available within WWE Champions, so make sure to go ahead and get it in. But following that on the 8th, we are going to get a tour for Kevin Nash Big Kev. Now, as I mentioned, within the faction milestones for the contest, there are shards for him. Plus, through Six's tour, there are more chances to get more shards for Kev, and hopefully you do get him unlocked at three-star gold, so go for it. Then on the 9th, following Kev is going to be his man, Scott Hall. Hey yo, the outsider. He is going to be getting a tour. Following that, we are going to have on the ninth another six tour. So doubling up on six. He is getting that love, as I mentioned. Then on the 10th, we're going to get a Randy Savage NWO tour. And on the 12th, well, 
to be decided. And I'm looking forward to find out what that has tied to. Now, when it comes to these tours, the requirements are easy. You have six, Kevin Nash, Scott Hall, and Randy Savage. There is a special NWO loot available. And that loot is pretty stacked. We have different star rarity variations of Trickster, Macho Man, Randy Savage, NWO. So try your hand at it so you can walk away with that Universal Gem trainer. On top of that, Sarge and Farouk both previously featured in Farouk Fest and Independence Week. They are also on this banner. Plus, there are a lot of top-tier champions that are going to be needed for these tours because there will be some action, tag team action available. You are going to need Rick Rude. You're going to need The Giant. You're going to need Million Dollar Man. You're going to need Mr. Perfect. NWO members to the fullest. That plus black MP boost is going to be crucial. So I do advise if you do have the disposable income to invest in that special loot. But let's be real here. Yes, it's going to be difficult to hit some of those milestones, but there is a lot to obtain within it. We have an opportunity to get bandanas that help out with those milestones. As I mentioned, we got that Blitz. 100 Blitz runs absolutely free before you even have to tap into your disposable income. So what is there to lose here? We got a faction feud that is live that has been absolutely fun. One of the best faction feuds ever. Like If you're missing out, it's literally your choice because there is no way you cannot capitalize this weekend with how they have laid out everything for this but those are the tours that is the tour setup we're going to have two tours for six we're going to have one for scott hall one for kevin nash and one finally for randy savage and we have an event to be decided coming soon now as i mentioned we got a few that's live the main event fill bonus Submissions are going to be getting plus 45% damage, plus red matches are going to be giving you plus one more MP or move point. And as you can see, requirements here are Kurt Angle as well as Sting or an NWO member. Better way to put it, just because I can't remember right off the bat. I set him there and then I left him there. I haven't switched him out because Sting has been putting in that work. Then when it comes to the mid-card fill bonus, your champions here are going to be receiving 30% less damage from both purple and black gems now that is crucial especially if you're going up against a lot of strikers that black gem damage will destroy you because they are the glass cannons low health but high damage meaning their finishers their moves are just going to be hitting you very very hard and depending on what class you're using well it might go good for you. You might get a second breath or you're going to be taken out right out of the gate. So please benefit from this mid-card fill bonus, which is going to require two four-star champions and one NWO member. And finally, for the undercard fill bonus, this is for powerhouses and NWO members, two and two. So this bonus here is going to be plus 25% damage to red gems. So powerhouses are going to utilize this very good because their moves deal a lot of damage. Their gems are very heavy when it comes to the damage situation and scenario. And plus when it comes to the NWO members, let's be real. This is probably one of the biggest, biggest tag links when it comes to the amount of choices and selections that can be used. So, by all means, you are going to be able to dominate this weekend. There's no way around that. And on top of that, we also have that loot up and available. Now, there was a glitch in the beginning where if you spent $20 of your disposable income on the $20 pulls, you actually got 20 pulls instead of 10 pulls. And due to how champions and Scopely have been doing things moving forward, if it's their mistake, they are going to allow that situation to remain so in other words i did this pull and i did the 20 when it was available at 20 before they reset it at 10 and they allowed me to keep these fuses and keep what i pulled and i'm very grateful for that because as you can see i got a full three star bronze fuse for my three star bronze attitude era technician booker t and i got a three star silver fuse for my attitude era showboat randy savage madness so from two star gold to three star silver I cannot be mad with that. And as you can see, a lot of these champions are champions that are going to be in this event. Many NWO members from Giant, from Booker T, to Sting, to Million Dollar Man, 
What else do I have to tell you about it? This is actually, once again, one of the best barons to come around. And SummerSlam is right around the corner. So I'm absolutely excited. We got a solid loop. We got a solid feud. We got blitz tickets galore. 100 free runs. Cost is one ticket. I can't really be mad at this event. Yes, some people might be upset. But look, if everyone puts forth the effort, if everyone puts in the grind and the time, you will at least walk away with a decent amount of shards of these champions. Maybe you do unlock Kevin Nash, Big Kev, Attitude Era Striker. At least then you got one of the two members of the Outsiders. Maybe you do get lucky and get the shards for Hall. Who knows? But the one thing I do like about it is like it's like a step up L, uh, LT tour week-long event because you need six Six's tour is going to give you shards to get Big Kev. Big Kev's tour is going to give you shards to get Sky Hall. Plus, you have the faction contest, so you got the sh shards being acquired from there. And then you also have the opportunity to get more tokens and bags so you can get more shots at Randy Savage. This is a very fun way to do a week-long event. But let me know your thoughts. Do you like the return of NWO? Do you think that it was too soon? Was it too sudden? Do you think this was pointless? Let me know your thoughts. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like, leave a dislike. If you do leave a dislike, please leave your constructive criticism in the comments below. <coughs> Pardon me. Sorry about that. And also, if you have any questions, suggestions, have any advice or need it, leave that all in the comments below. But most importantly, if you're new to the channel, or you've been watching for a while, but you haven't gotten around to it, but you like what you saw and heard, and you want to learn more about this incredible game, WWE Champions by Scopely. Please do yourselves a favor after this video by dropping a people's elbow on the subscribe button, as well as hitting a razor's edge on the bell icon to receive all future notifications from this channel. Mad love to every single one of you and my beloved hashtag champions fam. Good pulling, good feuding, good blessing, because it's definitely a good time to be a champion. Once again, leave your thoughts in the comments below about the return of NWO. Also, leave your thoughts in the comments below about Farouk Fest as well as Independence Week. What would you like to see come next? What are your thoughts on the champions upcoming for the MLC for July? Because we still have the MLC coming midweek of July, so be on the lookout for that. Who are the champions going to be here? Who's the free to play champion? Who's the prize wall champion? Who is the banner champion? Will they double up? Will they triple up on the free to play? Who knows? SummerSlam is right around the corner. They might do things big. They might not. They might space it out a little bit. Keep us on our P's and Q's. But I'm going to be here, right here for you, to walk you through everything. Now, I'm, I got to head out because I got to get some more feuding in before it's all said and done. But I'm going to leave out on this note. It's the return of NWO, right? Wolfpack Sting, NWO member, has officially been released within WWE Champions by the time you're seeing this video. He is within the showdown mode shop. A couple of people have gotten close and close and closer to unlocking him, possibly. Some people got 300 shards of him. Some people got 700 shards of him. But ultimately, he is in the game. This is return of NWO. Could we possibly see some footage, some sneak peek footage, you know, a little, a little taste of Wolfpack Sting? Could we see what his ability is going to be now thinking about savage being a universal gem trainer could it be possible that sting has something to do with that universal theme could he be doubling up on mp could he be doubling up on gem and move damage these are concepts that need to be thought about they've been switching around his move sets if you haven't noticed if you haven't checked in on him and checked out his card within your roster they've actually switched up the colors and themes for his moves and his builds so could we possibly be seeing wolfpack sting joining the fray as a part of the return of nwo because some people are mad like oh why are we getting a repeat with savage and hall and nash and six I mean, if you're throwing Wolfpack Sting into it, then I mean, I guess that grasps everyone's attention a little bit more, especially considering we don't know what's coming out on the 12th of July. But I'm going to leave it with, I'll leave that with y'all and I'm going to head out of here. I've already been here long enough, but that's just a thought. Return of NWO. Wolfpack Sting is officially in the game now. 
could we see the OG gear sign, you know, giving us a little little sneak peek of something very soon? Could we see some possible gameplay and see what he's going to be doing? Is he going to be a busted feud machine like Zombie Austin? Is he going to be busted like X-Pac? Who knows? Who knows? Is he the next striker Luke Harper? I don't know. But technicians are dangerous because they're the most balanced class out of all the classes and champions. And it's definitely got me locked in to see what happens next. But I will be here to drop that knowledge on you once it is officially available. So until next time, peace.